dinosaurs have no shortage of iconic features, from horns and frills to spikes and clubs, but perhaps most famous, but also most humbling, are the tiny arms of T-Rex. Compared with everything else about this dinosaur that makes its appearance so infamous, like its powerful jaws and its massive legs, it is difficult not to chuckle at its relatively tiny arms. And unlike the other mentioned dinosaur features that most likely have a purpose to either inflict or to deter violence, the purpose behind the small arms and hands of T-Rex and many other dinosaurs that also had tiny forelimbs has stumped scientists for many years. So why did such large animals have such tiny arms? The tiny arms of T-Rex and some other dinosaurs have been confusing for so long because theropod dinosaurs, the dinosaurs that stand on two legs, did not evolve to walk this way to free up their arms to use them. They evolved this way to move faster and to have faster acceleration. Reptiles, including the reptiles that the dinosaurs evolved from, have powerful muscles in their tail, and with this build they were able to get faster acceleration when they reared up on their hind limbs, probably helping them to ambush prey or to quickly escape predators. This is seen in some species of lizard today that will rear up on their hind limbs while moving at speed, and these lizards are probably a good modern day analogue for what primitive dinosaurs were like, only occasionally rearing up on their hind legs until they adapted to do it permanently, and become truly bipedal. Some of the large herbivorous dinosaurs would eventually evolve back into quadrupeds due to their large and heavy bodies but for the theropod dinosaurs that remained on two feet, they would become more proficient at walking this way. Among most small theropod dinosaurs, their forelimbs would still remain fairly large and functional, but some dinosaurs took a different evolutionary pathway in further reducing down their limbs, most famously being the tyrannosaurs. The earliest known relatives of the tyrannosaurs were called the Proceratosaurids that lived during the Jurassic and the early Cretaceous, about 150 million years ago. As early members of this group, these dinosaurs had many quirks that later tyrannosaurs didn't have. They had distinctive crests on their head and were a lot smaller on average, but most importantly, they had quite large arms that were more in line with most other theropod dinosaurs. However, later, the arms of these dinosaurs would start to shrink down, and the dinosaurs that were more closely related to the tyrannosaurs show that the reduction in arm size coincided with developing a larger and more robust skull. Until this peaked with T-Rex, that had one of the largest skulls and most powerful bites of any land animal, but famously tiny hands. This shows that in response to the evolution of the large skulls, these dinosaurs had to reduce the size of their forelimbs to balance out the weight of this new load. But it wasn't just about balance. The muscles in neck and arms compete for attachment space across the bones of the shoulders. In order for T-Rex to support its large head and jaws, it needed to have strong neck muscles attaching it to its shoulders and because of this, the arms needed to shrink down to make space for them. Because so much of the evolution of the arms wasn't about them evolving for a specific task, but more about making space for their increasingly large heads, some of the earliest conclusions about their purpose was that they had no purpose. And as they had gone down this evolutionary pathway, they no longer required forelimbs, and so they become vestigial, leftovers from their ancestors. T-Rex wasn't the only large dinosaur that had tiny limbs, or even the tiniest limbs, as there was also the Abelosaurids that had comically tiny arms. The Abelosaurids were large theropod dinosaurs that lived around the same time as T-Rex and other tyrannosaurs, but whereas the tyrannosaurs dominated the northern hemisphere, they terrorised the southern hemisphere, and best known among them was Carnotaurus, known from Argentina. The little arms of Carnotaurus and other Abelosaurids almost certainly were vestigial, because the nerve fibres in their arms had reduced down to the point where they were comparable to today's emus and kiwis, which don't use their forelimbs. So it could be that large theropod dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous were evolving to lose their limbs completely. And if these dinosaurs had existed for another, say, 50 million years, they may have evolved to no longer have front limbs at all. However, there is evidence that this wasn't the case for T-Rex, because the forelimbs had evidence of muscle scarring, showing they were not only functional, but probably quite strong as well. A T-Rex's arm may look tiny on such a large creature, but they are actually a bit longer than a human arm, only much more robust and as much as three to four times stronger. They may have used these small limbs to help them with really important but small things, like lifting the front part of their body off the ground after sleeping or sitting down, or perhaps to grip each other during mating, 
as this must have been very difficult for two-legged animals that weigh as much as elephants. Some theories of the use of T-Rex arms don't just concern the size of their arms, but also their distinctive double digits. The two-fingered hands of T-Rex has sometimes been cited as evidence that this was because their fingers were evolving away. After all, they did actually have a small remnant of a bone where the third digit would have been, but they may have just been evolving for a different purpose that they needed two fingers for. There was a dinosaur called Linonychus that strangely only had one claw in each hand. You'd be forgiven for thinking that Linonychus may also just have vestigial front limbs, but under closer inspection, the singular claw of this dinosaur had enlarged significantly compared with its close relatives showing they must have had some kind of function to be selected for. And there was also another dinosaur called Gualicho that was completely unrelated to T-Rex, yet possessed a very similar arm with two fingers as well. And the fact that such similar arms could evolve twice shows that they probably did have a purpose. One scientist suggested that they may have used their claws to slash at their victims or rival T-Rex, because having less claws would reduce the surface area, putting more pressure on one spot, making the claws better at cutting. So these funny arms may have actually been terrifying weapons. The problem with this theory is that as T-Rex's arms were relatively so small, they would have to push their torso very close to their victim before they could start slashing which doesn't make sense considering this would make them vulnerable to attack, but more importantly, they could have already taken a bite with their considerably more powerful jaws on the approach to the animal they were hunting. So the mystery of what T-Rexes use their little arms for isn't completely understood, but what is for sure is that they were definitely overshadowed by these creatures' giant skull and infamous bite. Perhaps in the future, new fossil discoveries may reveal a hidden major purpose of the iconic T-Rex arm but it is also possible that they had no major role in their lives, other than maybe for little tasks like helping these beasts get off the ground after sleeping. Thank you for watching. A massive thank you goes to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you enjoy content like this, then consider becoming a patron as well.